Hi friends, it's Heather and one of my friends over at Bella Creations, Leslie, asked me if I could do a tutorial using the text tool in GIMP. And this evening I happened to have some free time so I thought I would do that. I'm starting out with some digital papers from Gecko Gals and I've already um, like got rid of the excess paper. I just wanted this to be a 3 inch by 5 inch so that when I was finished I could just cut it out and put it on the front of a card base. On top of the yellow, I have a red digi paper from Gecko Gals, and this one measures um, two and a half down by four and a half across. That way, I have the little border going around. And then to give it um, some depth, I went ahead and I added a drop shadow. And if you don't know how to do that, if you watch one of my um, earlier tutorials, I will show you how to do that. All right, so. Next, let's bring up this cute digi image, um, and it's a digital stamp, which uh, comes with a white background, but in an another tutorial, actually the one I did just before this one, um, shows you how to get rid of the white background so you have a transparent with just a black um, images. Now I'm going to go ahead and start writing some text here. So I have the toolbox out. I was gone for a moment, but I'm back now, and let's see, I'm going to go over here to my text tool, which is the letter A, and you just left click on that, and your tool options, um, I don't have my uh, tool options connected to my toolbox, otherwise they might show up like attached to your um, toolbox here at the bottom, so mine are just here, and in order for you to see your fonts, all you have to do is go up to the windows, left click, go to dockable dialogs and scroll down to fonts and left click and then your fonts will show up. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one which is already highlighted. So I'm going to move the um, fonts out of the way and you'll see that this is it here and that the pixel size is going to be 97 and my color is going to be black. So you see the little cross here so if I left click there a text box opens and I just type in what I want to type. So I'm going to put, have you heard the news with the question mark. I'm going to close this. And if I want to move this text, you'll see here my cursor or my mouse has got um, just little crosshairs, which means if I were to um, left click again, I would start a new text box. But I actually just want to move this one. So you'll see here that when I hover, above this that that is the move tool and so I can just move it up I can close this box over here is what the move tool looks like and so that is what you'll see when you're able to move your text now let's say you want to make your text a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller you just click on these arrows here down it makes your um, size smaller and up makes it bigger now you'll notice I just went up to 98. If I go back to 97, it will show up in this box, but because I went up to 98, and that's um, much bigger than what I originally had, what I do is I can come over here to the box and hover until I see this little arrow pointing to the right. And if I just left click and push it out, then my um, text will show up on this line. So let's go back over here and Let's say um, that I decided to write another text box and I'm just going to write yes, just for short, and close this and I'm going to move it over here and then close again, but I want to work on this text. So you'll see I'm going to go up and click on it, but you'll notice nothing happens. And it's just starting a new text box. I have to close this and I need to go over and make sure that I'm on the layer that has the have you heard the news and you'll see how it is highlighted now so you'll know that you're on the right layer now if I just click in this box like if I don't do anything right now and I'm just on the layer and I were to play around with these numbers oh I got lucky and I must have already clicked in the box it'll um, go up and down for me so um, if I want I can go back and change what I wrote maybe I'll add two question marks this time and then just hit close. And again, to move it, you can just move it back and forth using the move tool. Um, let's say I'm going to just move this out of the way for a minute. Let's say I'm pretty much done with my text. I don't even want this layer, so I'm just going to delete that. But I wanted to move it. I could also move it using the move tool. So wherever I would want to put it. 
so you can use it during the move tool or when you're in the um, text tool and when you see the little uh, move tool show up so I'd have to click on that click in this box and now you'll see that the move tool shows so I can show that okay um, there's some other little options as well um, let's see I'm gonna highlight this I'm gonna right click I'm gonna duplicate this layer I'm gonna turn this one off and keep this one on and now I'm gonna show you a new tool which we have not used before and that is the path tool so I'm going to left click on that and I'm just going to start over here, kind of here, and I'm just going to click myself a path and I'm not going to worry about adjusting it or anything. I'll save that for another tutorial. And so now I have this path. So I'm going to go to my layers box and I'm going to hit, um, well I'm going to click on this little button, left click on it, and I'm going to go to add tab and I'm going to go to paths and left click on that. So here is the path I just drew. I'm going to turn the eye on so you can see it. So when you go back to the layers, you can um, you won't see it there. It's in the path layers. So I'm going to go back to the image, and here's my text. I'm going to go back to my text tool, and I'm going to click in that text so that I know I'm using this one. And I do know that because this is the um, size I have and the color. Now, you'll notice that I've clicked in here. I'm going to close that. And now this is highlight this text along path. So I'm going to left click on this. And it's going to, in a moment, it's going to have my text that's going to show up along that path. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the eye off on this. But I'm going to create a new layer. So layers, new layer, my little create a new layer window box opens. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to go to the paths layer. And you'll see that um, you can, this is your little uh, path line here, so you can turn that off so you don't see it. And now you just have your words. So what I'm going to do is come down to the path to selection because I want to select it so we can fill it with text. So I left click, and then these letters all become highlighted with the little marching ants. Now we're going to go back to our layers page, our layers tab, and on this new tab that we created, the new layer, we're going to go over, I'm going to just move this out of the way, to our bucket fill. And let's see, I guess I will leave this here. I want to make sure that I have the fill the whole selection um, chosen under my tool options. And I am going to um, check my color, which is black. And I'm going to take my tool, and you'll see that I have a little bucket there, and there's a um, like a no symbol above it, you know, the circle with the line through it, which means you can't um, dump your paint there. So you just have to go up to your text until you see it change, and you'll see that there's a little picture of the foreground and the background colors, and then you just left click, and now that's filled your text with color. We can go up to the select and select none, so nothing selected, and now you have your um, text, the have you heard the news on your path. So now I'm going to scooch this. We're going to go back to our path layer, and you'll notice right now how the um, words look like they have a little bit of a lining around them or an outline. And all you have to do is go to your path layer and turn that off, and you won't see that. Now you can go back to your layers layer. You've got you, your words here. Um, just take your rectangle select tool and highlight those, and you can use the scale tool. And usually, um, you don't have to always uh, scale it, but let's say if you wanted to make it a little bigger, you could. And then hit Scale. And then I'm going to get the Move tool. And I'm going to just move it a little bit. So, there we go. And let's say I want to rotate it a little bit, just so it looks a little better. Here we go. I'm going to move my rotate thing out of the way. But I think, let's see... That might, let's see how that looks. That looks a little bit better. Let's go, eh, actually I think I'm alright with that. I'm going to get the move tool again and just kind of move it. There we go. And hit the anchor and now it's been anchored. And that's it. So if you have any questions, send me an email or contact me through YouTube or over at Bella's because I'm about to run out of time here. Um, and thanks and check out Gecko Gals. Bye.